Welcome back, Motorheads. This is what you have car finds on Facebook Marketplace Fans Edition. Up first, got a 2012 PT Cruiser for $1,600. This one here was sent in to us by Scott B. Thanks a lot there, Scott. What in the Meth Lab Trichosaurus Rex do we got going on with this thing? Oh, for God's sakes. What the hell is that? What the absolute F is this? Oh, God. Well, it's no great loss cutting up a PT Cruiser and doing something different with it, but. <laughs> Wow, man. Uh, next guy, 1979 Ford Ranchero for $15,000. This one here was sent in to us by Crystal Hans. Thanks a lot there, Crystal. On this episode of Trailer Park Customs, we have the Redneck Ranchero. This one here is guaranteed to make you the talk of the trailer park and catch the attention of every white trash Betty that comes out of the woodwork with a six-pack and natty light with hopes and dreams of becoming your Copenhagen queen. So remember, boys, put on your best white beater with the barbecue stains. That way you don't disappoint Trailer Park Betty. Uh, next guy, 1982 Ford Econo Line for $6,500. This one here is sent in to us by Ashton Stewart. Thanks a lot there, Ashton. Now, this one here is definitely a what the F, just because this one here doesn't really look very good. Now, this was a good idea. I mean, if you kind of like your van and you really needed a van, but yeah, you needed a truck. And these were conversions that were done. These were kind of the rage back then. But... Yeah, this one here is definitely seen better days. I think this one could be saved. It's definitely still a what the F. But I think merely the what the F is because of the price and the condition of this one here. Because like I said, these things were kind of cool in their own way. I mean, would I go out of my way to buy one? Yeah, probably not. Now for a lot lower price, sometimes I have moments of weakness and I buy just complete shit for no apparent reason. It's a problem, I'm dealing with it. Uh, next, got 1995 Lincoln for $1,900. This one here was sent in to us by James Carlisle. Thanks a lot there, James. <laughs> How bad is your car got to be that you literally put in the description, this car is not for everyone, and I did it. <laughs> Dude, own it up that you did this. This is nothing to brag about. <laughs> no, dude. Please don't ever try to do anything like this again, because it didn't work for you this time, and it won't next time either. Uh, next, got a 1982 Chevrolet S10 for $7,200. This one here is sent in to us by Paul Bergman. Thanks a lot there, Paul. What the hell is going on here? Did your builder have ADD or something? It's like you started out on one end of the truck and looked okay, then you chopped it and went flames that don't really make any sense and the colors just... No. This looks like crap. I, I don't understand the whole chopping of the S10 anyway. It's just kind of stupid. And the fact that you're taking pictures in the dark of a truck when obviously you can take them in the daytime because you did with a couple pictures, then you want that kind of price? Absolutely not. You're not getting that out. You better not get that out of this truck. You absolutely better not. Um, next guy, 1958 Chevrolet Impala for $15,000. This one here was sent to us by Mike Gotez. Thanks a lot there, Mike. <laughs> what the hell? Sir, this has got to be a joke, right? This has got to be a joke listing. You can't be serious asking that kind of money for this car. This is this has absolutely got to be a joke. This, you better, this better be a joke because if this ain't a joke and you really think you're getting that kind of money out of this car, just go dunk your head back in the toilet, give yourself a damn swirly, come back with a better thought process in your brain because you're not getting that kind of money. There's nothing even salvageable on this car. Nothing. Maybe a piece of chrome. Oh my god, what the hell is wrong with people? Why? This person clearly has been watching too much Barrett Jackson, all these other auctions, and these stupid ass reality shows on TV, and think this piece of shit here is worth $15,000. I don't give a shit if it's number matching. I don't give a shit if it's a convertible. This does not worth that kind of money, Riri. Uh, next guy, 1958 Volkswagen Beetle for $6,800. This one here was sent in to us by Michelle Reif. Thanks a lot there, Michelle. Dude, oh God, another one that's been watching these reality TV shows thinking that their piece of poopy is worth a lot of money. Look, it's a pretty cool Volkswagen. It is a 58, but it's not running. <laughs> this thing is a POS, man. You're not getting that kind of money. Oh, my God. This shit has got to stop when you people come up with these numbers that you're pulling out of your hind end. This, no, this car's not worth that. <laughs> Oh my god, please quit trying to throw stupid numbers out there and taking advantage of the other village idiots who would give you that kind of money. Oh, for the love of god, you people make my head hurt. Uh, next guy, 1991 Chevrolet Caprice Wagon for $1,800. This one here was sent in by Tom Smith. Thanks a lot there, Tom. What the inbred kissing cousin shit is going on with this poor wagon? Why? Why would you hurt that poor wagon and do that? Oh my lord, the exhaust and you bit Tweety Bird on it. Oh. I thought I saw a retard. 
I thought I saw a retard. No, I didn't think I saw a retard. I did see a retard. Whoever built this wagon? Uh, next guy, 1995, one of a kind Dodge. This one here was sent to us by Alan Jones. Thanks a lot there, Alan. Well, this is definitely a what the F, and it belongs here on these videos, but I don't think it's a what the F in a bad way. This thing's actually mildly interesting, and it looks to be fairly decently done. I don't like what they did with the bed, how it swoops up. I think he went and changed a couple little things. You might actually have a pretty decent little cool custom little vehicle here. What do you guys think of this one here? Curious to know. Am I just losing my mind here or what? Uh, next guy, 1949 Ford Custom for $60,000. That's never sent it to us by Gearhead Talks. Thanks a lot there, Gearhead. Oh, absolutely have another one of them. Woo, I've been watching way too much reality TV and way too much of them damn online auctions thinking my 49 POS is worth 60000 damn dollars. Sir, this is a four-door for one. It's not even a desirable shoebox being the four-door. But $60,000 damn dollars, you have fell and bumped your head, got up and fell down and bumped it again. And got back up with the same retarded mentality in your brain thinking your car's worth $60,000. Go seek professional help. The car's not worth anywhere near that. You need to have an intervention before you start pricing things. Now, under the hood, you got some cool things going on there. And if you know, you know. But it still ain't worth that kind of price tag. Remember, if you come across something you think us and the rest of the world need to see, send it to MotorheadMisfitsYT at Yahoo.com. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you liked today's video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.